Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Planet Zoo on the PlayStation 5. So are these, like, new wounds? Oh, he's running into the box. He loves it. I wonder if he got all those wounds from the fight that he was in. Does he have wounds? You don't see them? All the scratches on the side there? Like, all over? Like, on his belly on the side? I mean, they're kind of hard to see, can't see good. on the shoulder. Mm. Well, anyway, he's got tons of wounds, Jinx. Battle scars. Anyway, so I went ahead and improved the situation in his pen by uh, putting the trees closer together. So that seems to be the key for the coverage and the plants is that the, the trees need to be closer, like in little uh, little groups. And so if we take a look at his stats right now, you'll see it is not perfect, but it's higher than it was. We're almost where the coverage needs to be. The plants is, is fine, 84%. So like maybe you could fix it a little bit by adding a couple more trees in here. I feel like we already got so many trees in here though. So maybe if we like duplicate, I, don't know, I kinda wanna duplicate one of these ones. We'll duplicate this one and then put it right here. We'll see if that will, uh, maybe put one more in here as well. See if that'll improve the situation just a little bit, a couple percentage. He's gone. Where'd he go? Well, it is dark time. I assume he's over here <laughs> sleeping. I don't no, see him. he's out adventuring, gallivanting around. Maybe in the trees somewhere. It's so dark. That's, That's the box. That's a box. <laughs> is there a bear in a box? I don't know where he went. We might have to click on the the habitat to find them. I mean, they seem to see them, <laughs> and they're all excited. Or they're complaining. Like, they where is the bear? Nothing. Oh, he would climbed up the tree, Jinx. Huh. Okay. I mean, I knew they climbed, but I didn't know they climbed the trees. Yeah, they can climb the trees. Hope they can't climb right over yeah, that. Yeah, hop right out. Hop right out of there. All right, so we can see his plant coverage is now at 100%, or the plant's at 100%. The coverage is at 41%, and that is good enough. Now, unfortunately, our habitat, you know, overall welfare here has actually dropped when we started the episode. It was at like 83, 84%. Now it's down to, to 80, and we got to get to 90%. Like, who's unhappy now? So the bear, he did have an issue with the habitat because it wasn't clean. But I set this up in the work zones, and so it is being cleaned. And so that's no longer an issue. We just need to look at our animals and figure out who's having problems here. So it seems the tortoises are fine. They're good enough. Uh, it looks like these guys not doing so well. It's their social. Okay. So I guess we'll dip on over to them. And see if we can't improve their situation here. What is it that uh, is causing their social to be an issue? They're all stressed out. They're trying to hide and they don't have anywhere to hide. Aww. Okay, I, I wonder what we could do about that. Yummy. It seems like they have plenty of places to hide. Oh. It's like People covered. Can they can see them everywhere. I see. So maybe we should block out one of these ever wraps, like, uh, I don't know, over here on this side. Put some more bushes. Yeah, I suppose you could give them more coverage. I don't know if that's necessarily what they need. Yeah, it could be a little higher. Mm, they don't like the grass. Yeah, but the train isn't really the issue here. It's really the social aspect. Yeah. It's the stress. Uh, also, their social group isn't optimum. Too many adults are here. Give one up for adoption. We could do that. So the, the question is, one. <laughs> which ones? So, yeah, to me, it, it might be like a trait as well. Like if one of them's really shy, then that could be causing the issue too. I don't know if you can see the traits from within here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the traits. I think you gotta actually click on the the animals. But we can see like which ones are having the biggest issues. And clearly this one here, Nuo, is having the problem. So could just sell Nuo. Give her up. 
Mm -hmm. So we want to... Well, we can release her to the wild. Let me get back down here. Here we go. So you can just release her to the wild. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Be free. She wants to be alone anyway. I just think there's too many of them. Mm-hmm. And that should appease. To appease the rest of them that are here. Uh, you see our bear is not in a perfect situation, but... Let me see if there's anybody else that's a little easier to appease. I did sell, or actually I released the other bear into the wild. It was in fact the big bear that I had to release. Uh, because this one was not an option. Maybe because of the source, the breeding program, perhaps. Mm. But it wouldn't even let me release them into the wild. So I had to well, do the... Well, if you buy them for cash, they also can't be released. Mm. So I had to release them into the uh, release the big one into the wild instead. Um, it seems that the habitat could be improved for the scorpions by a little bit. I don't know. That's going to make a significant difference. But the snails, their habitat needs to be improved. So basically taking a look at the exhibits could be helpful. And we already know the flamingos aren't happy since we moved those one birds in there. Oh, they're not happy at all. Neither is the little macaque. It's the male that's really upset. They've been upset this whole time. And their problem is that it's too much, uh, I think it's too many of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. So we could release some of them. Yeah, get rid of them. <laughs> like the ones that are the least happy or something. The sick ones. Are they sick? I don't know what that uh, is indicating. They're infertile. Oh. Okay. Wow. What's going on in the mechanic so you, population? You wouldn't even be able to release those into the wild. You'd have to... I guess these are the oldest two here. Or maybe you'd be able to release them. It seems like it's an option. You can also quick trade them. You just get money for that? Oh, wow. They're worth quite a bit of money. So that might help appease... Oh, that didn't work. Must not have done... Oh, they gotta get boxed up. Okay, I see. You probably just sold them to some scientists. <laughs> I feel bad for them. Well, they had too many of them in there. Yeah. It was were a... very unhappy. Yeah, like this is not a large space that they're in here. Yeah, not really. And you can see it's space that's causing the problem. So I was hoping that could improve it a little bit. We're currently at 83%. Uh, so let's go over to the exhibits. I don't remember the those are at. I think it's over here, isn't it? Okay, so we'll take a look at... I mean, the rattlesnakes are, are pretty good. It's the scorpions that aren't happy. So let's see if we can just easily improve it. Just put some more rocks in Yeah, there. putting more rocks in there might be enough. Maybe not. I think so. It didn't change uh, the percentage up at all. We have to research them, maybe, to make them happier. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Like, what do scorpions like? What do they do for fun? Okay, so clearly... These are not really questions that anyone asks themselves. <laughs> Except for people who are obsessed with scorpions. Alright, so the exhibit here, we could definitely improve that. Right, that's also a layout situation, though, so I don't know. Yeah, because all we can do is add oh, another that rock one in there. Rock. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough either. It smells like that's it. That's Alright, so clearly it mind. needs to be researched. That's the issue. I'd hate if we'd have to do some research just to get this uh, welfare up. I guess we can take a look and see if there's any other animals that are you know, a little bit easier to appease. Alright, so these guys are doing much better, by the way. That's good. Yeah, they're nowhere near as bad as they were. They're like, one more of us could go, honestly. <laughs> Get rid of one more. Alright, looks like our warthog's doing pretty good. Which is interesting, because when we looked at this earlier, the warthog was kind of upset about the social. Maybe she just wasn't close enough to that other animal we had in here. She was just feeling lonely. I'm not seeing any other, like, glaring issues outside of the birds. Mm hmm I know the birds are a little unhappy with their situation. If we just sold these two birds, would that, like, cause problems? I don't know, because the mission is, is to... Is done, right? 
Yeah, just make them happy. The ones we have. Yeah, we did buy all that stuff for them, but... Oh, well. Let's see what happens. If we just do a quick trade. And hopefully I don't regret doing this. So we'll go and do that. And then we'll see if that causes problems since we don't have the, the number of animals we were supposed to. Seems fine. Which means... We could then sell all the crap that we bought for them. Yeah, I guess we could go ahead and do that. And go ahead and get rid of this. And then we'd take this one here and then move it back to where it was. Since clearly they don't like it there in the water. Yeah, makes sense. Let's put that back. So that could help That's the situation. The thing. It's doing it. Is it? It's still at 84%. Yeah, but it's oh, going it's up. It's going up. There we go. Get rid of the pig, too. <laughs> the pig is doing just fine, Jinx. Just get rid of them. <laughs> the pig is doing great. We don't need to get rid of the pig. Nobody's ever like, oh, we're hogs. We need more food enrichment. But I wonder if it's just because this needs to be filled up. Maybe the staff couldn't even fill it up or whatever. Because it was in the water. Yeah, that's probably true. I bet it'll get higher once this gets filled up. Yeah. It's going back down. Alright, so let's go and take a look at our animals. And see if there's anything we can do here. Although it seems like most of them, it's not even that low. I mean, the pandas are have a little bit of complaints here with the habitat. We could try and improve that one habitat a bit, since it's at 88%. And we can't do anything with them without doing some research. Might have to. Yeah, might have to. Maybe that's part of the expectation here. Uh, you know, these guys are really what's tanking it, I think. I think they're they're the issue. Maybe we just can't have macaques. You know, I wonder if the reason why they're in fertile is because he had it marked here is not letting them breed. Oh, had them on birth control. Yeah, that's, that's why what they're it was. unhappy. Yeah, you got them marked on birth control, but I, I think they're doing that for a purpose, Jinx. Probably. <laughs> they didn't want to breed anymore. They got too many of them in here. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could sell more of them since clearly they're unhappy. But I'm worried about selling too many of them. And, you know, their social going down. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Like, one more female? I would, yeah, I would sell probably a male and a female. You think we should go down that low? Remember, they have to have a certain amount or they'll yeah. get unhappy as well. I guess you can start out with the female. Yeah, let's just sell one female. Just leave the, the two males and then the, I guess it'd be like four. Or, excuse me, uh, three females. So, which which female should we get rid of? The crankiest one. I mean, they're all pretty cranky, Jinx. The oldest one, maybe? Yeah. yeah Cranky I guess we'll old do that. lady. And... Yeah, I guess we'll release. I like the music. It tells me I did something <laughs> good. So that gets us up to 86%. Let me just see if this is improving it at all. I mean, slightly. But the social group is now going down. Mm. So you're getting more space, but now you're losing social group. I don't think getting rid of any more critters here is going to help. Is there any room anywhere to extend To expand the... it? Yeah, I don't really. think so. Nope. Not the way they got it designed right now. You'd have to do some serious changes. Yeah, there's not really anything you do here. It's just been designed to mess us up. Yeah, if we can't get it up soon, guys, we might just give up on it. I'll take a look at these pandas in here. See if they're the ones that are unhappy. Since this is the one I designed, I could see them being unhappy. Well, look at that. These are the happy pandas, Jinx. Yeah. It's the other pandas that are unhappy. Maybe because they haven't gotten any attention. True. They're like, everybody just wants to go look at the new pandas. Yeah, they don't have enough plants here. So yeah, we could go ahead and fix that. Try and give them... I want this to be in a... I guess temperate. So do that, and then go into here. Okay, so yeah, Asia. Alright, so we'll just throw some plants in here. Not sure where we're going to put them just yet. Because there's not a lot of space currently. 
Do they need more coverage? They do need more coverage. Do they have enough bamboo trees? No. Pandas can never have enough bamboo trees. So let's give them some of that. Do they have a water source? Oh, this is a big old one. Well, they don't have water that they can swim in. But remember, we can't... I don't think we can do that. We well, tried to do are dumb. I wouldn't trust them with a pond. <laughs> you think they would drown? Yes. The babies would, for sure. Well, this right here. All right, that's, that's taking it up some. Making them a little bit happier. We could even put some, uh... Of the strips up along here. Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's get bamboo trees everywhere, just sticking out of the walls and stuff. Jeez, that's kind of hard to place. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd place right here. On the slope. Yeah, it does not want to go. <laughs> I was trying to see if you could like decrease the height, but I guess not. Yeah, it's not letting us. Here we go. Put it right there. I don't know if that actually helped at all. <laughs> Let me throw a few more over here, these strips. Let's give them a little bit more coverage. It's increasing the plants. The coverage isn't actually going up. I probably need like a tree. Well, they don't have any of the cherry blossoms. We could give them one of those. Give them two. Give them two? One on each side of the ramp. Just like the other place? Yes. I feel like it blocks too much of it when it's right there, though. I feel like they're really happy pandas, though. Is there like a smaller one? Oh, here's a small one. Yeah, we can do small ones, Jinx. One right here. Oh, that got you up to 30%. But, I don't know if I can get this into this place because, oh, hold up. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so let's increase the coverage some. Let me just do one more tree and see if that'll help. Back here. Okay, I mean, it's it's improving it some. We're at 87%, guys. We're getting close. But yeah, definitely uh, kind of pain in the butt getting these last little points here that we need. Yeah. To wrap up this, which I say wrap up. I don't know if there's anything else that they're going to require us to do after this one. And it's going down again. Because <laughs> the shy animals are, like, walking around. And they're like, oh, my like, God. Oh. People, people are looking at me. I'm like, well, then go back to where the people weren't looking at you. <laughs> and they're just like, I can't because you put the food over where the people are at. So I have to go over <laughs> I have there. to go over there. All right. So what are these? Garials? Yeah. Okay. So these guys, they don't like their terrain. So improving their terrain might... Uh, There's too many rocks. Might help us out here. Yeah, too many rocks. Rocky soil. Yeah, it is very rocky. They want sand for they the want, valleys. Yeah, they want more sand. Could also put grass in there and they'd be happy as well. Where is their habitat? It looks like this is it. Mm -hmm. This little area is the only place they have to walk on. They can go up there. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I guess we'll like turn this into, I don't know, soil or something. Sand? I guess Probably we do sand. sand. Yeah, we'll do sand. Yeah, a little like that. Alright, there we go, guys. Seems that we... We had to basically turn everything that was rock into sand <laughs> in order to get it just right. Because there's not a lot of space here for them. They barely have any space. I think the sand does look better, though. It does. Than the, the rock did. I mean, it doesn't blend in as well with the little rock path they have here, but yeah, it's fine. I'm sure it's easier to clean off of them, too. Like when they have to take them in for medical procedures. The sand? Yes. The sand, like, <laughs> kind of a pain. You just dust it off. I wonder what's going on with the last meal quality. It was only moderate. Well, it seems like all of our animals are like that. Their meal quality is down. I suppose we should go ahead and research the, the animals in the exhibit here. Might as well see if we can't improve their exhibits. Because they, they're hitting us pretty hard. And so let's go ahead and find those in here. We got the scorpion and the snail. So we'll research both of them. Okay. So while they're doing that, another thing we could work on is increasing the size of their exhibit, the red pandas, because they don't like their space either. And so we've seen before that they have like the minimum requirement 
as far as like how much area they need. And so that's not it. We want to get the barriers. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to try and do is just like build off of this mm -hmm. and go over here and just increase it slightly. I don't know how much this is. I think that should work. I don't know how much space they need, but. Uh, we'd need to decrease the size of this though. This is far too, too large. Maybe like four. And then, you know, just do it like this so that So that they can't like get out while we're doing it. Yeah. Cause they they can't climb, can they? I don't know. Don't they have a climbing? They have climbing areas, yeah, so yeah, they, they can. So we're gonna have to set it up. With the anti climbing. Yeah, with stuff. the anti climbing stuff on it. And then just attach to right there, and see if that's enough. And then get rid of all that. Yeah, you can see they have the climbing stuff on there right now. Yeah. So we'll go into the edit barrier here, and then do the. The multi select to get all Somebody's these getting happy. selected here. I didn't actually want that one though. Jesus. Okay, so it's kind of difficult to get some of these selected without selecting ones you don't want. Yeah, whatever. Hopefully it's fine. It'll <laughs> allow me to put the climb proof on there. So we want it on the right. Nope, that messes up this one. Damn it. Just put them on both. Put them on both. Just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do it that way. Oh, we're almost there. One more percent. Okay, so that should be good, although... Let me just make sure. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, so now we can go in and get rid of this. And yeah, we're almost there. So we need to edit barrier here. I don't know what we did. Maybe just getting the, the food situation dealt with. Maybe. Was what did it. Alright, so let's go and delete these ones. So that gives them more space. I don't have anything in that space, but maybe that'll be enough. Where's the red panda? Come here, little panda. Oh, they're about to do something. Look, they're about to fight. Like, hello. They do that cute little red panda. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that did appease them on the space, Jinx. They're at 100% now. All right, accents. So that was enough. What? Why did it drop? But then it went went down again. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. A tree. So we got the fallen trees in there. And yet layout is still only 80%. That's weird. Is it too like crowded? I'm not sure how that works. Like if we took all this off, would it like make it less? Nope. <laughs> he definitely wants those in there. He just wants more. All right, so it took a couple months. We finally got the giant tiger land snail research completed. And so let's go ahead and take Tommy off of that, Tommy Presley. And then they kind of placed this already on their own. I don't know though, the exhibit layout is still pretty low. Yeah, maybe they didn't place it. They need all the sticks. So that'll get the layout to 80%. But our percentage for the overall welfare is actually dropping. Like, it's plummeting. <laughs> All right, so I tried some more things, guys, and we cannot get the the welfare up. I feel like as long as you have the situation over here, it's going to be a problem. I just don't know how we got up to eighty nine percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, multiple times. Yeah, and, and, and now it's again. yeah. It seems like every time I do something that would uh, appease an animal and make it go up to ninety, then something else happens. And so it's kind of a frustrating tutorial mission, guys. At least this part of it is. And so I feel like the only thing to do is to get rid of these guys because they're just, they're so, uh, they're just so low. Like if you look in the animal welfare, like this is the one that's causing the biggest problem here. They're pretty low at the moment. It's just that social issue there with the space. Yeah. It's too small. Yep. It's just too small. So, cause I don't really want to increase the size of this just for this final mission here. I think we're just going to sell them and see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it should appease it anyways. Pack your shit, monkeys. Yeah, you guys are too much of an issue. Uh, well, we did finish that research. That could improve it some. Uh, this is one way to do it, too. As you know, as you're researching the animals, you can, you know, just improve their habitats and learn about them. And so continuing the research helps. 
yeah, I think this is what we're going to have to do. Because I'd like to finish the tutorial because that does unlock new ones and stuff. And so let's just go in here. And then we're just going to sell all of them. What's the matter with the turtles now? Oh, are the turtles upset too? <laughs> Everyone's upset. Oh, yeah. Obi. Stressed out. Again, it's the stress that's causing a lot of them problems. Yeah, because they got to go get in their hiding spot and then mm -hmm. it goes back up. But he's a freaking turtle or a tortoise. It's going to take him forever. Well, that's why it varies so much, I think. Yeah. It's because of the stress levels. The stress levels are why it's constantly going up and down. Why we're going from anywhere from 84% to 89%. is yeah. just what is the current stress. Which it's is why bouncing I, back and forth. I had it sitting on fast forward for a while. And then it was just kind of going around looking at the animals, seeing what we could do to improve things. Making little adjustments. But yeah, it's just, it doesn't matter. I think it's, again, it's just these guys over here. I think if you get rid of them, it probably goes right right up. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's go back into the animals here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and see if this would, would fix it. Although you got this guy. Or this gal here, she's not happy. Get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, these guys are clearly the issue. Like, they're it's so obvious they're the problem. It's the space. So, it could do a quick trade. It could also send them to the trade center. What happens if you do that? Let's just see if we do that. Would that be counted? Or do you gotta actually fully trade them? I would think you would have to fully trade them, but... Well, we'll take a look. Because how happy can they be in a box? I'm just I'm just wondering if it even matters if they're yeah. in the trade center. Well, it's at 87% now. Because I feel like they're not in this area here when you have them in the trade center. Let me just double check on that. They'd be right after the birds here. Oh, they're still there. But they're yeah. actually happy right they're now. They're happy. <laughs> they're happy because they moved them they in there. They like it in a box. Yeah, they actually like it there. Let's move this one to the trade center too. <laughs> to the trade center. <laughs> you have up to two hundred animals in the trade center, apparently. Yeah, if you get all the unhappy ones in the trade center, maybe that's how you get up to to ninety. Yeah. Nope. Not uh. good enough. Well, now we got this one that's stressed out. Good grief! Can't move them all to the trade center, can we? <laughs> Just move the whole zoo. To the trade center and she'll come back and be like, you did a great job. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone's in boxes, all happy. <laughs> yes, that's what we're going to do, guys. They like it in the boxes. <laughs> that's so bad. All right, so we'll move that one to the trade center and see what happens. Still sitting at 86%. If this doesn't work... Yeah. They might just have to give up on getting this, this tutorial mission it done, guys. Down. It actually went down. Yeah, it's just too much of a pain. Trying to get this uh, animal welfare up to the 90%, guys. You have to do too much. Again, for it being a tutorial, like, this isn't your zoo. But yeah, clearly, the percentage is going down. I think that's because we're moving these animals from their uh, their social areas. Mm -hmm. And so you took that animal out of there. And so the ones that you leave there are unhappy because they, they lost their pal. I'm like George. <laughs> Was that its name? Somebody abducted you. All right, guys. So this was going to be the finale episode, anyways. That's why I was trying to finish the the tutorial up here, this particular section, because we haven't spent so much time on it. I think this is our what, like a third video on this location, and so I wanted to wrap it up, and uh, get it completed, unlock the the next tutorial. But yeah, it's too much of a pain. So this is where we're going to end it, and the reason why we're ending the series now. It's because I know a lot of people aren't really, uh, you know, they don't really want to watch the, the tutorial. The, the tutorial in this game has not been, I don't know, as like interactive as it was in the Jurassic World Evolution game. Yeah, it just kind of feels like people are talking at you. Yeah, it's mainly just her talking at you for long periods Laughing of time. Laughing at the lame jokes. Yeah, it, it, with the Evolution one, it seems like, I don't know, you just, it was more hands-on to me, the tutorial. I don't know what it is exactly. But I think that this has not worked as well for a Let's Play. And all the comments uh, seem to be people wanting us to, to make our own zoo. And to work in, inside the franchise zoo. Uh, rather than doing the tutorial. And so that's what Jinx has been doing. 
She played through some of the tutorials on her own. I think we mentioned that in previous episodes. Let's zoom in on these guys here. Yeah, Jinx did play through the tutorials. Not all the way through them. There's a lot of them. There's quite a few of them. And she has now started a zoo and franchise, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to, like, set up, like, the outline so that whenever we are ready to start a series with it, we can do more of the fun stuff and, like, decorating. Yeah. And so she's just getting some of the most basic stuff set up, guys. Like, a few pathways. Yeah, because with franchise, you really don't start out with very much money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you kind of got to start small and then add on to it as you get more money. And you can keep it on fast forward and stuff, but uh, again, we're not going to play deep into it. Jinx is just getting it started for us. And so the plan is to hopefully record the first episode for that, which will be like its own kind of series, I suppose. So it'll be like a different thumbnail. It'll be an episode one or whatever, which will also catch more people on uh, the interest because it'll be in, you know, a new episode one. I like these guys. Yeah. These and the crocodiles. Mm -hmm. The pandas are cool, too. But yeah, we haven't had any... Uh, well, we had these in that eight place, but we didn't really look at any of, the, any of them. Oh, I want to hear them talk to the thunder. Oh, yeah. didn't you, you were telling me they do that, don't they? Yeah. So what is it they do? They, like, like rumble or growl. Uh-huh. Or bellow, I think they call it. Because don't they think, like, it's another crocodile? Yeah, they think it's, like... Probably their gator god. <laughs> <laughs> their gator gods. I don't think they have that in this game, Jinx. This one is a big well, one. Well, they should, because it's neato. Yeah, it's a big old crocodile. Oh, it's out of the water. Oh, it's running fast. Where's he going? <laughs> kind He's of, like my sprinkler. <laughs> kind of funny. It wants to go to the sprinkler when it's raining. <laughs> I just want to sit under the sprinkler, get wet. I did add this in here because I was trying to improve the enrichment, which we did. So these were all the different things I was doing to try and improve the uh, the status here. Did they use that? <laughs> I don't know. It was under the list of enrichment things for the crocodiles. So. I knew they liked petting. They like to scratch themselves up, uh, up against it, I suppose. Go back over here to the pandas. Where's our baby panda that grew up? So it's just Anyone? a bunch of adult pandas now. Is that this one? Alan. Oh. No. You're thinking because it's the littlest one? Yeah. Let's see here. Oops, that's the bed. There, there it is. is. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's pretty small. I don't know, she's 7.8 years old. Is that really the little one? I mean, I guess it's younger than the other ones here, but... Yeah, I guess all the other ones are pretty old. Yeah. And this one's a beast. Well, I remember the name, too. I'm surprised. I guess you're better with names than I am. Jinx is the name person. She remembers everybody's name for us. Because I can't remember anybody's <laughs> name. <laughs> I'll know you for years and still won't be able to remember your name. I'm like, you. <laughs> yeah, like, you. I know you. We've worked together so long. What's in a name? Anyway, so yeah, Jinx is gonna going to be playing that one. So she'll be on the sticks that time. And the plan is to record it uh, on the weekends. So, should hopefully have the first episode up on Sunday. Again, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Because we do have a few things that we're doing on, on Friday. And we also just started a new series. House Flipper 2. That's something you're interested in. Maybe go check out the first episode. And so, yeah, that's the plan, guys. We'll go ahead and do the, uh, the franchise mode. And Jinx will make us a zoo. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> What kind of animals are you thinking to get? Uh, I think we're doing North American animals. Yeah, I saw you were in the North American uh, habitat area. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some bears. Yeah, we got to have the bears. Uh, other than that, I don't know. We'll just see. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. But we'll have to name them and stuff since it'll be our R zoo. And that's the other thing with the tutorials. I don't feel attached to any of these animals. Yeah, I don't know you. Yeah, because like you know you're going on to the next area as soon as you finish it. That's why you kind of just want to complete it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for not just this video, but for this particular series where we do the, the story missions or the, the tutorial mode. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe 
to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything else to watch while you wait for that next series to start, check out the front page of our channel. We got like 3,000 something videos all sorted by genre. Do play a wide variety of games, including a lot of simulators and particularly a lot of these these type of management games. Played quite a few of them in the past. In the past, keep on going into the wall over here, <laughs> just trying to look at the red pandas, and they're just trying to get some sleep. We're over here bugging them. Now, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. Find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store. If you'd like to help support the channel. You also find a link to all of our social media if you'd like to follow us on those. And finally, find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. So I do hope to see you guys on that next that next episode, that new series. Again, that should be coming out on Sunday. So I hope to see you on it, and thanks for watching.